What's going on y'all? This is Rashad from RashadBeast.com. Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about how to build your online presence for your music. I feel like this is going to be a really good topic because this is, I'm pretty much going to, I'm going to break down every single thing that I did to build Rashad Beats from being uh, just a, a name on the internet to being a brand that no, that also does beats and graphics and all this thing. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did to build my online presence. Show you the different ways that I did it and show you the ways that worked and the ways that didn't work. But understand that these ways are not going to work for you because everybody's different. So just have an open mind and kind of realize like, all right, um, let me try something similar or do something that works better for you because everything is going to be different. But this is just the way that I did it. So let's talk about how to build an online presence online. Starting out, me as a producer, I started out with, with just... Um, just a couple of beats. I had a couple of beats that I was already working on. They're old, whatever. Not old, but you know, they're old now. But a couple of beats that I was working with and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I was just building my catalog. I was working. I was trying to build a nice little catalog before I even start investing into my website or before I even start to um, invest into my flash store or BeatStars or any third party API that you can use to sell your beats. At the time, I couldn't really figure out how much I wanted to sell them for, so I kind of gave it like I would, I would just be like, all right, well, I'm gonna just make it like this, this price, $10 for right now, whatever. So from there, I just continue to keep working and keep grinding. It got to a point where I'm like, okay, now I need to start looking for clients. So, and this is one thing that you shouldn't do, building your online presence, but if you start now, if you're gonna do something similar. So it doesn't matter, just understand you're gonna learn from it. Um, started spamming people, I started trying to hit people up and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, people don't react to spam. They look at spam and they instantly write it off as just uh, another dude trying to spam. Like, who is this guy? Like, who is this? Like, I don't care about your beats. I don't blah, blah, blah. This is before I even had knowledge of selling and anything like that. So, you know, I'm spamming people left and right on Facebook and I'm trying to just make a sale and blah, blah, blah. I started realizing, like, yeah, you know what? This is not working. I got to figure out a different way. So I started to learn to actually approach people the correct way. I started to actually have conversations. You know what I mean? And start really build from there. Like start talking to people and start really figuring out who these people are, where they're from, um, and actually being relatable to these people. So I started to build rapport. You know what I mean? I started building rapport. Therefore, it made people more comfortable, made them more open for me to actually, you know, tell them, yeah, I'm a producer and I have a couple of beats and I noticed that you're a rapper and blah, blah, blah. As time progressed and whatever, I started doing all the legwork. I started hustling offline and even though this is online presence I still did the work offline so people can who couldn't get me I still did work offline so to the people who couldn't get me offline they can get me online or whatever so I made it I made sure that I was available in different categories I made sure I was available online and offline like my website was online uh, offline you know what I'm saying I was recording people and I made sure that I was just very uh, available for people to reach out to you know what I'm saying emails and I had business cards and everything so I started doing all the legwork. I started to grind it out, you know what I'm saying? Started to learn from my mistakes, started to actually pick up books to actually learn how to sell more properly, how to approach people more properly, and how to actually build a community behind uh, the rapport that I built with, with, you know, with all these different people. And then eventually I started making sales and I started making more sales uh, regularly. How to build your online presence. Now to build it, I feel like you have to continue to do what you always been doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always been making beats and I always was grinding and I always was making sure I put myself in front of the people and I was always making sure I was marketable. So always make sure, like, if there's something that you have that you know you can put out um, starting now to the end of your career, blah, 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 like videos, vlogs, whether you're doing audio books, ebooks, you got something that can actually benefit, um, you have something that can benefit your fan base or your clientele. Be sure to continue that. One thing that I noticed about building your brand and building your online presence for music, you have to start small. You got to talk to people. You got to figure out their artists or producers. You might even want to collab with a couple of producers. And as an artist, you might even want to send a couple of features for free to different artists and whatever, just to build your, your clientele up, just to build your cloud up, and just to build your brand up and get your name out there. You got to take the small things first and then eventually expand it. And therefore, when you expand it, you can put your... You can put your price tag on it. You can put the price tag that you always wanted to put on it. Because now the build up made it so much that your value has increased. Understand when you're building your online presence and music, 
It's all about how much value you bring to the table. So in order to build your online presence for anything, like whether it be music or web design, etc., um, you have to create value. You gotta be a valuable person. Cause when you have something valuable and you have something tangible, people will be able to look forward to what you have coming next. Like these vlogs, for an example. Like for a while I never thought these vlogs would do much of anything. I just it was just me speaking my mind and speaking my mind on different topics and talking about how they help for me and etc. But then I start to see over time as people start to love them and people starting to respect them and people telling me to do more and don't stop doing them. So you gotta understand the more value that you create for yourself and the more content that you have, um, it'll be easy for you to build your online presence because your presence will be everywhere on the internet. You know what I mean? They can type in just like maybe three letters of your name and boom, you'll see because of how long you've been putting in work. Uh, for an example, like you just type in R-A-E, maybe Rashad, Beats will pop up in that, that search suggestion bar, you know what I'm saying? So understand that in order to build your online presence for music, you gotta have a large network, you gotta talk to these producers, you gotta talk to these artists, you gotta talk to these potential A&Rs online, cause some of these motherfuckers be faking. Start to build your relationships and build your rapport with them, as I always say. And one of the biggest things that I also preach in my videos, um, especially when it comes down to music, you gotta have something else alongside the music so people can kind of you gotta have something you gotta have something next to the music you gotta have something that brings value to the to the viewer and to your audience because that way they'll be able to invest in whatever you would like for them to invest in so like say like if you you got beats like they'll know a couple rappers like yo i might be a rapper he's gonna holler at you for beats or you're an artist and you got a mixtape coming out and that dude who's been watching your vlogs for a couple of years may want a feature from you and willing to pay top dollar for a feature just to be part of your project. You gotta continue working. Like I can't really, I can't really boil it down anymore. It boils down as simple as that. You gotta keep working. You gotta keep putting up content. You gotta keep putting up valuable uh, information for other people to, to use, depending on whatever niche you got. Talking about music, so maybe you know mixing tactics for producers. Maybe you know mixing tactics for engineers. And it also comes down to the people that you associate yourself with. You know what I'm saying? You know a couple of engineers and producers and artists and these people are go-to people and eventually they will bring in more people to come mess with you and you know they they may offer different things. That alone helps your brand because it starts to make your brand seem like, okay, he's a powerhouse, you know what I'm saying? Like people come to him. He don't come to people, people come to him. You wanna to get to the point where your brand is just there and people come to it because they know that's exactly what they're gonna get. They're gonna get exactly what you what you offer. You gotta give it time. Eventually all these things will come together. The videos that you do, uh, the songs that you do, the beats that you make, whatever you're doing that you're grinding for, understand that all the late work and all the room for improvement will come within time. Don't ever sweat, don't ever sweat it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep working, keep building content, keep talking, keep networking and make sure you continue to build relationships because the more people that you meet, your brand automatically goes up. Your value automatically goes up because people start to see you as an asset. You want to become an asset to people's lives, whatever you got to offer for these people. And that's pretty much all I got to say, man. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up at Rashad at Yahoo.com. Um, if you like this video, please like it, share, subscribe, comment if you haven't already. Um, if you like this video, comment. Um, if you don't like this video, let me know what you want me to do next time. Maybe I can do something that can go a little bit more in depth. But um, that's pretty much it, man. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Peace. Shabby's out.